Hello everyone, uh, today video is about uh, object-oriented programming with Ruby and certain things that you need to understand even though you are not going to use them every day but you need to understand them in order to fluently understand what's going on under the hood with Ruby and basically it's about most of the um, object-oriented languages like Python and JavaScript as well it's less so with Java and C Sharp, which are more like class oriented languages. We'll, we'll get to that. Uh, but before I go any further, I want to just tell you that I'm using uh, the new IRB version, which is in the pre release. So this it's, it's worth, um, it's worth installing this if you, if you like, uh, what I'm, what I'm showing you. But anyway, I'm just launching IRB and my first thing that I want to do, actually, let's just uh, do this. Okay, my first thing I want to do is that I want to tell you that everything is an object in Ruby. And uh, by everything, I mean, if you ask what's the class of one, it's in, oh, sorry. If you ask what it is, if it's an object, it's an object. If you do this or so string, it's an object. If you do, a symbol is an object, right? So everything is an object and uh, at the end. Uh, now, if you want to create a new object, you do this by, by this. So please note, I'm not use, I'm not using the word, the keyword class here. I will get there why. Uh, so duck equals object new and now I have a new object. Now, if I want this object to do something, I need to define a method. So we do it in a way that you will never do actually in Ruby, but it's the method that you need to understand that it's somehow called at the end. So let's say we want to have a quack method, which will just say quack. Uh, so now if we want to call this method in Ruby and in object oriented programming, everything is about sending messages to objects. And so sending messages is like this. So we are sending a message quack to the duck object and it says quack. So this is working. Obviously this works as well, but this is a syntactic sugar. It's just to make developers lives easier. The same as we can say dev duck yo instead of, uh, instead of duck define single finger method. But here we are using like more verbose way of, of Ruby more friendly uh, this is this is exactly the same as this right it's just using a special syntax it, again it's a syntactic sugar this is the original way of doing this now if we call dark methods without the inherited ones because the object uh, we now have yo and quack now what if we want to remove a method uh, removing a method so saying that this object shouldn't should no longer re respond to a certain message this is more interesting because now there is no not no such thing as undef so i try to auto complete and it doesn't work there are several ways we can do that one of them is we need to access the uh, singleton class and we need to say undef let's say yo I always do this mistake, it's undef method. Right. So now if we say duck methods false, we just receive quack. And if we say duck response to yo, it says false. So this method disappeared. Now, what is a singleton class? This is a trick in Ruby. So now we are learning the kind of implementation details of Ruby. Again, this is not something that you will use in Ruby, like probably never, most likely. Rails does a little bit of this under the hood. Certain Ruby frameworks, they do it under the hood in order to create a nicer DSL domain specific language. Uh, but whenever you have an object, so let's say we create a new object, this object has a singleton class. Each object has a singleton class. Uh, this is more difficult, but let's just understand that you can attach methods to objects as we just did. And it's only this specific object that gets this method. And singleton class is just this implementation detail is just this, you know, box for all those methods. 
so we are we need to use a uh, singleton class we can also use singleton class to define methods i don't remember the syntax right now or the, the method names but it, it's also possible now um, so for example we can have uh, a method called new duck and we just say uh, object new right and then we say duck define singleton method and we say quack and i wonder if this actually works uh should work yeah uh puts quack and then return duck Right, so now uh, duck1 equals new duck. We have duck1 and methods. It actually says a method quack, right? But instead of a new duck, this is where classes comes to, comes to, they come handy, right? So classes are just methods or some way of creating objects. So if we say class duck, and we say quack and we say quack and then we say duck2 equals duck new we get kind of the same thing as previously but now it's explicitly uh, a duck class while the previous one it was actually an object right uh, but both of them have a singleton class so duck2 has this one and duck1 has this one and please note the the object ids obviously they are like weird and cryptic but if we say duck3 equals duck new and we compare duck3 uh, singleton class with duck2 it's not the same right so this is the difference while duck duck2 class is the same as duck free class so not the easiest thing to do but i just want you to understand that class is a syntactic sugar in ruby so whenever we say it's it's whenever we say like this we just we just create something a factory and uh, the same with defining objects defining methods we can define methods on the class but you can just you can just take whichever object you have right now so let's say duck3 and you say it should now have a full method uh, you can now call duck3 foo but obviously that's the syntactic sugar because actually what we want to do is we want to send a message called foo and this works too and this would be like the the pure way of using Ruby. So Ruby is a very verbose language when it comes to whichever way you like to call the methods and whichever you, way you want to access. So that's why there are many different things how to do the same in Ruby. And this applies also to you know manipulating objects, methods, and classes. And from my experience, Ruby and JavaScript, uh, but yeah, JavaScript, uh, Ruby and JavaScript are the most um, metaprogramming friendly uh, programming languages, but this maybe doesn't sound positive. They are the truest object oriented languages uh, which are right now available on the market because they allow you, uh, you know, a very detailed and very um, precise way of manipulating objects. And even if you're not using them every day, you're probably using some gens which use that. And there is a big uh, discourse like how, how far should we go with using stuff like this and it's an inter interesting discussion overall but ju I just want to say that you know, once you understand that it's under the hood everything is an object and you can just attach new methods to the objects which means that uh, uh, it's, it knows how to respond to a message so a method is a way of of allowing an object to respond to a message. So it's all about sending messages to objects in Ruby. A singleton class is just an implementation detail. Class is just a syntactic sugar. I think that's it for today. So thank you for, for watching and let me know if you, if you have any question. Also, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I know in Java, like objects are basically hashes. So you can easily um, create new methods or new properties and delete them. So use deal. Dell. Uh, 
I'm not sure about Python's way of deleting methods. Uh, last time I was using Python was a very long time ago, and the last time I remember Python didn't allow removing methods. And I, I believe while this is not something that you are using every day, I believe this is a property of a good OOP language uh, to be able to remove certain classes, certain methods from objects. Thank you, thank you, and bye.